Let's go. Let's go. Alrighty, folks, we're back with some more Mega Man Battle Network, and this is the short finale to the game. Uh, we have officially collected all the battleships in the game. All of them. Wait. Oh, no. I missed one! <laughs> Wait, no, though. No. I, I didn't. I, I remember that one. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, I know, I know which one that is, and that one's related to this anyways. Yes. Ugh. I thought that was at the bottom of the, uh, of the list, not in the middle. Anyways, uh, we've gotten all the battleships. All we need to do is effectively... Find the secret boss. Now that we have all chips done, we've got access to him. He's going to randomly appear just like the rest of the viruses in this area. And just like a ghost data boss, but without triggering it by walking into a specific location. He is just a random boss fight in this area. Huh. And he drops two different types of chips, so uh, if we don't get it the first time, we're gonna have to refight him. Hopefully, we get lucky. Oh, oh good for you. Yeah. So this can either go long or short, depends on how. Yeah, uh, depends on how willing they are to drop the chip that we're missing. Oh uh, yeah, um, they partially rebuilt the uh, the cast. For the second part of the Ruby Justice League crossover. Yeah, I recognize a couple of the voice they, actors. Yeah, they specifically, they specifically know of the big three, the main three, Superman, Batman, and uh, Wonder Woman. Uh, Green Lantern, Jessica Cruz, is still played by the same actor. Part. Oh, that's so good. So you're basically hearing female violence. <laughs> Which I think is actually an appropriate Oh, jeez. But, um, uh, Superman, part 10, is played by Travis Willingham. Okay. Isn't that the voice actor who's been doing him for a while now? For a little bit, yes. But there's also a couple of other roles that I will point out to you that he's done. Namely, Boy Mustang. Yeah. Which, which is honestly, like, the big one for me. I'm just like, okay, now I can hear... There you. he is! Hi, Bass.exe! <laughs> I can hear Boy Mustang's voice coming out of uh, Superman. I, can, I just can't. Uh, Batman is Troy Baker. Yep. <laughs> Not it's surprised. Like, what a surprise. Not surprised. Alright. And Wonder Woman is Laura Bailey. Yeah, isn't that her, like, constant voice actor for a while now? Maybe I'll have to double check that. Anyways, uh, let's focus on this one because this one's gonna take a little while. I must. Okay, okay. And, oh, that's right. I managed to bring the uh, chip codes down quite a bit. Also, a couple of voices in Ben 10. The one that stands up at the top is Cannon. Uh oh. Ah! I, think I, know I forgot about this! Ow. I'm going to freaking die. I want to die. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to die. Cannonbolt! Then he's also... The biggest one that he's done recently is he is the voice of Grog Strongjaw. Yay! From Fox Mafia. Didn't <laughs> so. realize those were the same voice actors. Yeah, it's, so it's very good. Really good. Please stop charging that! No. <laughs> nah! Never. Oh, it is. I never said it was going to be easy. This guy is supposed to be a secret super boss. Oh, hi. Oh. Um, Travis Willingham is the voice of Guile in Street Fighter 4. Yep. That's I knew not, that. That's not supposed to be. Huh. I don't know if you can find... I don't know if you can find... 
I don't know. I don't know who that is, but in the Dragon Ball games, he's the voice of Cell. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Stop it! In Sonic Free Riders, he's not. <laughs> no. He's he's. I think he's the modern Ow. voice of nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. And confirm. What he wants to be. Are you really surprised? No. <laughs> I'm actually getting really close to beating him already. And he's dead. And he's dead. I got lucky with some chips. Alright, you gonna give it to me or am I gonna have to fight you again? Again. I have to fight you again. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to buster you now. He has a lot of money, though. Alright, uh, well, I showed I could beat him. I'm not gonna show that I can ask rank him because I'm not a, mas a masochist. Also, I don't think I have nearly the right chips to S rank him or a buster folder that I can do. Uh, Travis Willingham is the voice of uh, Two Face in the Telltale Batman. Okay. That's kind of cute. What? I didn't see that. Uh, security breach? Oh. The Freddy, 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 Freddy. So he's the one who does the laugh for Freddy, I guess? No, no, that's... Is it? Oh! Uh, he does the voice for Jake Garrick. Okay. So that's the, that's the old Flash, right? Uh, yeah, that's the, uh, the... The Silver Age. Yeah, the Silver Age Flash with the Hermes helmet. Yes, okay. That's not surprising. Oh, I think in the new Spider-Man game, he's the king. I can see that. Fill some whisk. Oh, very, very whiskey. Uh, Jedi Fall Jedi, uh, in Order. He's a character named Jero Tapo. That sounds like your master. In Maybe. fact, I'm pretty sure that's your master. The character named from Hearts 3 Might? Oh, he's Long Q. Yeah. I like Long Q. Uh, I believe Ace is one of the characters that... I, I actually don't know Remind, so I don't know. I was about to say, he's not the, the, the guy you fight at the very end. You, you'll no, see that's... Uh, that. His name is... Um, Crap, I forgot his name is. Uh, it's close to Sora's name. Yozora? Yeah, Yozora. That's the one that Rex always mistaken you for. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, he's not 100% wrong. <laughs> Oh great! Now base is being wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I wonder which one they want you to use. <laughs> uh, I may have gr uh, grinded Shadow Man a lot so I could get the last chip because apparently Shadow Man's really good at getting it. Just for the record, that's four out of the five uh, Shadow Man chips I had in the deck. You can only stack five Navi chips. Wait, isn't that the main character of the second game? Go die? It just says the world ends with you. Is the first game. Volleypop dude? They have to be one of the big rough and tough guys. That seems like this, it's this guy's name. Oh. oh, maybe it's, um, Muscles. No? Oh. 
He has right now? Oh, it is muscles. Okay, yeah, okay, it's muscles. Around for that. Yeah, that's what I thought. I forget, he runs RAM, doesn't he? So, fun fact, uh, Aiden, since you haven't played the games, all of the Reapers uh, represent a Zodiac sign. They're trying to go for a younger Mark Hamill anyway. So, fun fact about base that I didn't really show off very much. Uh, that shield he starts with at the beginning of the fight is uh, a life aura. Life aura cannot be uh, cracked except by doing over 100 damage to it in one hit. So, unless you got uh, attacks that do over 100 damage, uh, you ain't dealing damage to him. Uh, and if you let the fight go on for too long, it will reactivate. Yeah, that's not right. Figures the super boss is the... This battle chip is the only one in the game that is a guaranteed 200 damage to the entire opponents of field. Other other battle uh, other uh, boss chips can do more, but it's a ran it's random whether it it manages to do uh, 300 damage to the thing. A great example is Stone Man. You need to. Uh, for a great effect for stone men, uh, you need to shorten the area that they take up to maximize that damage. <laughs> Apparently Tom Hanks has been um, begging WB to let him play Jake. Oh man, that actually kind of well, cool. But this next, this tweet basically says, basically shows two pictures side by side and he's, he's like, let me go. It's Tom Hanks. And hit the picture next to him is the ventriloquist from Batman. I can kind of see that too. I think the reason why he wants Jay Garrick is run, Forrest, run. <laughs> because he's the he's the he's like kind of a funny the one of more the, a funnier old timey version of the Flash. I don't know. Like, because isn't Jay Garrick supposed to be like the stalwart hero kind of type who preaches the virtues of paraganism? <laughs> No, not really. He's just a uh, he's he, he's a happy old man. He's <laughs> sad. No, seriously, like he's he's like a ray of sunshine. He's he's great. Oh yeah, love him. Well, I mean, uh, with, with with how things are going with the W with the W, uh, they're reaching deep for uh for villain blood, for villains in their stuff. Really. The Ruby crossover uh, has a villain um, that I think is a C-lister from the Flash's uh, Rose Gallery. I what? Uh, Kilgore. Kilgore? Kilgore. Like, kill percent, percent sign. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know who Kilgore is. Yeah. I'm just like... Like, I've never... I keep forgetting what he's about. Like, I know he's... 
It's not a, a terrible one, but yeah. Let's see. Kill gore, uh, kill percent or whatever, is an electromechano uh, organ organic uh, life form that requires energy to survive. It has been an enemy to the Flash and the Justice League. Capable of taking over other machine gene systems and over the hosts. Kill gore had was created. Uh, I remember them saying that uh, it was, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're originally an enemy to the Flash, he later worked with but a game Astro Wolf's job. He did electrolyte. Especially at the end, when it goes into this this tangent while fighting everybody, that it teamed up from somebody from there. It teamed up with somebody from their world. From Rep. It teamed up with somebody from Remnant. That happened. And left and boasted that he was the smartest man. I just want to tear down the letter coding a bit so I can have more options in the fight. Not that I'm gonna use them, but. Eh. 
Oh, and before anybody asks, uh, yes, I spent the time to fully upgrade Mega Man at the same time. So, full HP, full level, full attack, rapid, and charge. This be 100%ing. Once I get that battleship, this entire game is over. The only thing I have left to do, which I'm not... I'm not that masochistic, is to get every letter code for all the battle chips. <laughs> oh. Which requires you to basically chip spam the chip trader. And might I remind you, on game one, it randomly gives it to you. In later games, it randomly gives you chips you don't have. Which is, by and far, way freaking better. He's not that masochistic. And keep in mind, this is a man who's done the Korok Seeds more than once. So, just to put that in perspective. <laughs> Sorry? Tail's the big brawny girl, right? No. No, wait, uh. Tail's the final. Uh, uh who's the other one? Well, it's up to you. If you want to find, uh, if you want the final boss. It's up to you. I don't want to fight you on that one. <laughs> you choose what you want, okay? The only one I want is the wolfy one. Everything else is. I'm giving you, I'm giving, I'm giving, I'm giving you the werewolf, and I'm, and I'm giving you the go-go wannabe. He, no, like he literally, literally a JoJo he spams JoJo poses intentionally. Look up Zanzo. Okay. It's amazing. The dude is literally just like the most animu. Uh, so he's a, he's, he's, yeah, he is yes. the biggest weeb. Amanda Culture. Oh my gosh, base! Would you spawn already? Yeah. Literally only had one spawn since. Yeah. I have not refought him yet. The frick! Dude, you showed up like once. Why are you. Wait, do I need to leave and come back? Is that the problem? I swear, if that's the problem, I'm gonna be upset. Oh, you have to leave. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I'd say it's best to do it anyways. Yeah, no, I did leave the area and come back. Uh, can you double check that for me? Face? Uh, uh, do I need to leave the area and come back for base to respawn? Because, yeah, ever since I fought him the one time, he's... Base.exe. Mega Man Oh, sorry, Mega Man Battle Network 1, yeah. Howie. Yes. Also, I really don't want to have to leave the entire internet to do this, because, um... Mm, this is Area 12. I can enter the internet at Area 3. <laughs> So I don't really want to leave unless I absolutely necessarily have to. I wish I had got the battleship on the first try. There he is! Okay, we're good. Hey. Die! You gotta catch me first! 
Yeah, too bad. Yeah, and you're dead. Oh crap, that was first. Hi, Fara! That's the one I'm looking for! Woohoo! We're done! Alrighty, folks, that is 100% complete the entire folder. The only thing that I haven't done is done all program advances. However, the first game does not track this. It's only the second game on that actually logs the, the program advances you completed in the game. So, that's it for me. I'm going to, we're going to take a quick break, swap over to Hi-Fi Rush, and we'll see you guys back with that.